Sometimes in life, a fighter has to veer off course to understand what being on the proper path may mean. For some, this lesson can be expensive, even damaging, but to be able to persevere and pull through shows what constitution a person can carry within. Keith Thurman, I believe, is a proponent of this experience. He's made some changes, not even let the pony coat, ponytail go, but he has changed his mindset and his focus in boxing. Now it is time to find out what time is it for one time. Keith Thurman is an enigma in the sport of boxing. The former world welterweight champion, unified champion, has found himself back in talks in the sport of boxing. When I say in talks, we're talking about his name being bantered about. He had gone through a couple of years of injuries and taking a step out of the spotlight when other welterweights had an opportunity to come on like gangbusters. We're talking about the likes of Earl Spence Jr. and Terrence Bud Crawford who came along while Keith was just, he was just settling into being a champion after his March 7th victory over Robert Guerrero which made him the WBA world welterweight champion, Thurman had decided to kind of pump the brakes on his own career. He, suff he suffered a first indication of where his medal is against Luis Colazzo in his first title defense when Colazzo had given him a striking body shot that had Keith running around the ring. And people say, oh, there's a chink in the armor of one time. But what it is, is with Keith, it happens to be focus. And I do believe he's one of the ones that has lost focus. Not like a lot, a lot of others who may have let money and fame get to him. I actually think it was things outside of the ring. But as we focus on him, let's talk about it a little bit. With his current record of 29 and 1 with 22 KOs, his single defeat is a decision that he dropped in July of 2019 against Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. In his first big time fight, Thurman found himself down in the first round against Pacquiao and had to get up to fight hard to struggle to a split decision loss. Late in the fight, as Pacquiao began to tire, Thurman started to come on. But Pacquiao was still able to get some of those body shots in that caused Thurman problem just like against Luis Colazzo. And Thurman may have basically taken the legend Pacquiao a little bit under underestimation. So, when he went into this fight, he thought that his youth, his size and strength would be all that matters. So he's had a chance now to look at things from the outside in instead of the inside out. And he has to be honest with himself. With the progression of the other fighters in the division that we spoke of, Thurman has found himself the odd man looking in, but it may be time for Thurman to step it up once again. His most notable victories were a June 
2016 victory over Showtime, Sean Porter, that saw him defeat Porter in a unanimous decision. It was a bout that went back and forth with the aggression of Sean Porter taking Thurman to task, but he used his boxing ability and his mobility to cause Sean problems in that fight. Sean has since become a better boxer, noting that at the top of the division, you have to be a multifaceted fighter to be able to thrive. And it's great to see that Sean has looked to add new wrinkles in his career. But at that time when he faced Thurman, Thurman was absolutely, hands down, the better guy. Now, what we saw also in that fight was that maybe at the top division, at the elite class, Thurman's one-time power may not be what we thought. He had a succession of knockouts on his way up to the top elite of the division, but he hasn't scored that type of knockout since he has been in there with the likes of Julio Diaz, which takes you back to uh, April of 2014. Showtime Sean Porter gave as good as he got in the fight with Thurman. And Thurman earned a well-deserved edge in this fight. Sean Porter has since fought, went on and fought great fights with other opponents. But Thurman, who without doubt decided to not fight Earl Spence Jr., was ducking the opportunity for a legendary class fight. Had that fight taken place when it should have, which I believe you go back to 2018, that should have been the fight for Thurman to define where he is today. But instead, he had injuries and inactivity that caused a lull in his career. However, after the Porter fight, he followed that up in March of 2017 with a unification bout that took place between he and Danny Garcia. Okay, now in this fight, he won a split decision again over Danny Garcia. But this time, it was what Garcia was not able to do, or it may have been lack of motivation by Thurman once again, that the fight was as close as it was. You had two men who were definitely tops of the sport, but they just didn't really make that clear who were the better of the other. And this is kind of the problem in modern day boxing. Sometimes when these fighters face opponents that they're supposed to beat, so much to the degree that they lack the gumption to challenge themselves against the best. And when they do get in there against the best, they hold back. They don't want to let their hands go. They don't want to let that machismo out. They want to kind of protect and conserve. Well, this is not the time because people remember when you go for it, when you look to choose the line of separation and create that divide between you and that opponent. This is what these guys are missing out on today. And in that fight against Danny Garcia, Danny, as well as Keith, just couldn't take it to that next gear against one another. We saw Danny repeat that when he ended up later fighting Earl Spence Jr. After Earl had come back from his car accident, there were opportunities there for Danny, including his dad telling him, there were chances there that you didn't take, you know? And this is what we see in the fighters. But let's get back to Thurman here. Thurman has been on the outside since Earl has collected belts and has become a unified champion and Bud Crawford still holds a firm grip on the WBO welterweight title, Thurman now wants back in on the party. He sees that these men are being talked about 
by people like myself and other content creators out there and he wants in on the action again and it's funny because nobody's thinking about Keith right now and it's funny how the wheels turn right but you can't get through this era without facing one time he is a man who has been a champion out there and a unified champion if he wants to fight again if he wants to put himself back into the mix there's a certain amount of respectability that comes with his name and he being on your record to be able to get in there against the likes of Earl Spence Jr., it would be an intriguing matchup because Keith is mobile. He is mobile. He has fast hands. He has pop on his punch. He takes a decent punch on the chin. It's the body <laughs> that Keith seems to have trouble with. And I do believe stylistically, a match between he and Earl Spence Jr. would be one for the books. I do believe that's the type of fight at the welterweight division that boxing needs right now. Now, as far as what the money is and all of that, Stormy doesn't get into that. But I can tell you the intrigue that comes with a matchup between those two men. It will definitely set boxing ablaze as far as the welterweight division. Some people feel that Keith now needs to get to the back of the line and take on one of the young lions to prove himself. But I do believe his merit stands for itself. It's just a matter of who's going to decide to give it to him, the opportunity. At the end of the day, Terrence Bud Crawford, it would be a great opportunity if you were to fight Keith Thurman people will give you credit for fighting the former unified champion. For Earl Spence Jr. to clean out the division, having fought almost half of the best in the division in Sean Porter and Danny Garcia, the other two that remain now are Keith Thurman and Terrence Bud Crawford. You fought Manny Pacquiao. You lost a decision, a close decision to Manny. So there's nothing to hang your hat on because I'll tell you, Manny is still a formidable force out there and he's a legend to be had. Although his fight with Earl Spence now is off due to Spence having his retina tear and having to have eye surgery, it could be revisited in a later time, but the clock is really ticking on Manny Pacquiao. So that leaves Mr. Earl Spence Jr. to reconsider at some point whether or not he wants to put old issues aside and allow himself to get in there with one time. Thurman is a good name to have on your resume, whether you win, lose, or draw. He's a talented fighter, and he's always been someone that the crowds whether you like his personality or not, they turn out to see one time. This is the kind of fight that Thurman needs because he needs to shut up the naysayers. People who felt like he was ducking Earl all that time, ducking Bud all that time. But I do believe now he realizes after sitting on the sidelines I'm just as good as these guys. I should have fought Earl. I should have fought Bud. Well, you know what? I'm going to get in there. I'm going to start talking again. I'm going to start pay making people take notice of one time again. And it's nothing wrong with that. But also along with that, Keith, you've got to get in the ring. You've got to get in there and show people what you still have because you are getting older just as your contemporaries are. But you also have to show us that you want it. And you can't tell us that you want it. You have to show that in the ring by getting in there with quality opposition and showing the world that what time is it? You see what I'm saying? 
So, in closing, what I would like to say and add is that with acute intelligence when it comes to the sport of boxing, Keith Thurman actually has realized that it's not over yet. Until guys face him, until they do away with the ghost of him, they cannot really move on completely in their careers because this is that era where these men were all contemporaries and they needed to fight one another and face one another so when they look back on their legacies, they can say who was who and what pecking order that you rate these guys. I do believe he has realized that and this is one of the reasons why he's coming on strong verbally, vocally, talking up the sport again and talking up his contemporaries again. And for the likes of Bud Crawford and Earl Spence, they do well to take note that this man, even though he suffered a loss to Manny Pacquiao, he has realized and come to the understanding that sitting outside watching everyone do things that's one thing but to get in there and have the adulation and adornment from the fans is another take note of the lessons that Thurman has learned and allow him back to the dance I don't believe he will disappoint sometimes people chase paydays but I believe Thurman realizes that this is not about a payday He's looking at legacy now, and I do believe he understands a bit more what it means now. See, some people can get the lesson early. Some people can get it right away. Some people get it later. Some people never get it at all. I give Thurman the benefit of the doubt that he's had that opportunity to sit back and watch things, and he still wants in on this party. This is Stormy B-Man. Shout out to the LDBC, the Lion's Den Boxing Community, Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Leave comments. Let me know what you think about what time it is when it comes to Keith Thurman. And should he be allowed back into the dance? to provide us with some excitement in between the ropes. This is all I have for you at this time. Let's discuss further. Until the next time we meet, peace to everyone out there. And please, everyone, take care of yourselves and remain safe.